Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my perfect cooking system. Uh, in these videos, uh, I would like to fulfill three goals. Uh, the first is to demonstrate three different stages in cooking shrimp. A uh, second is to spot the windows to perfectly cook shrimps uh, in stir fry. A uh, third is to exemplify the use of vegetables to cook together with shrimp to maximize their flavor and texture. Uh, let's get started. Uh, I will explain along the way. Uh, I place in a bowl uh, 4 ounces of large shrimp uh, to 4 in 10 minutes. Uh, this dish is cooked in a 14-inch light cast iron wok on a flat glass stovetop. Uh, I check the wok, make sure it is well seasoned, and based on its shiny appearance, uh, I think it is. Uh, the burner is set to high and heat up the wok for about 60 seconds. Uh, I place 2 tablespoons of canola oil and heat it up until it just starts slightly to smoke. A different stove probably uh, differently, uh, but in my stove and using the light cast iron wok, it takes about 90 seconds. Uh, however, this is likely to be much faster in a carbon steel wok, but at the same time, it will be slower in a cast iron wok. Uh, I then turn the stove to low or off completely. Uh, this is a technique I find very useful to help to season the wok uh, before I cook. Uh, I add half cup of onions and stir fry for about 10 seconds. Uh, I then turn the stove back to high and stir for another 20 seconds. Uh, in addition to provide flavor and aroma to the dish, uh, the onion helps the shrimp to keep it to be succulent and juicy. Uh, I then add the thawed shrimp uh, to the wok. Uh, stir fry the shrimp for 40 seconds. And make sure that you turn over the shrimp uh, regularly to make sure they are all evenly cooked. Uh, when the shrimp first add to the wok, uh, they look velvety, silky, and uh, squishy. And after being stir fried for about 10 seconds, uh, the shrimp start to look taut, stiff, uh, like an expanding balloon. Uh, the shrimp can gradually develop a white and opaque color. A uh, pink color streaks uh, start to uh, appear on the external surface of the shrimp. At this point, you will notice that the flesh of the shrimp start to pull back, exposing the rear of the shrimp. Uh, the shrimp now have been cooked for about 40 seconds. Uh, I consider the shrimp is now about uh, half done. Uh, next, I add 2 cups of uh, asparagus. Uh, asparagus is one of the speedier vegetables uh, to cook. Uh, the cook time of the asparagus is about 90 seconds. Uh, I cut my asparagus uh, to maximize its efficiency of cooking. Uh, I cut the tip, uh, leaving it whole just a little bit below the crown. Uh, I then cut the middle section about 1 inch in length. Uh, I cut the end section diagonally lengthwise to expose the pith of the stem. Uh, using this approach, I was able to use the asparagus more efficiently. Uh, I am fastidious about the texture of the asparagus of not to be overcooked. Uh, I like them uh, slightly crisp and pleasantly firm. Uh, the shrimp are now cooked along with the asparagus. Uh, you can see the body of the shrimp now turn into a glistening white with pink streaks. Uh, the shrimp at this point is now at its best, a uh, succulent, uh, moist, and tender. Uh, if the shrimp start to cook too much beyond this point, uh, they become dry, shriveled, and unappetizing. Uh, the dish is ready to serve uh, after I season it with 1 teaspoon of salt. Uh, I also add half teaspoon of freshly grounded black pepper. Uh, the total cook time is 4 minutes from start to finish. Uh, this technique in cooking the shrimp uh, with these vegetables has some distinct advantages. Uh, the use of the onion helps to protect the shrimp from being burned or scorched in high heat. Uh, cooking the shrimp during the last stage uh, with the asparagus, uh, helping them from getting drying out, uh, keeping them to stay moist and succulent. Uh, once you figure out how to cook your shrimp immaculately to match your taste, uh, you will not want anybody to cook shrimp for you. And of course, this is the aim of my perfect cooking system, uh, to make the case that you are your own very best cook. Uh, once that happens, uh, you will want to cook your own meal every day uh, from fresh and unprocessed ingredients. Uh, I don't eat out anymore uh, because my perfect cooking system is practical, efficient, rapid, fusion, economical, creative, and tasty. Uh, I know I make the most delicious and healthiest food for me and my family. 
Uh, for your convenience, I have included the recipes uh, below the video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by press the red subscribe button for receiving notification of my latest postings. Or you can press the Rock with Tap logo uh, on the right. Uh, to learn more about my public cooking system, uh, take a look at the introductory video on the left. Uh, thank you for watching, keep on cooking, and see you next time.